everyone, it's Carolyn and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. I'm super excited because this is my very first video of 2020 and it's going to be one of my meal prep videos. You guys really seem to enjoy when I do these and I know we all wanna start the new year and new decade out on the right foot by eating as healthy as we can. So I have some awesome meal prep ideas for you and I'm going to be showing you them all right now. And I also wanted to just let you know really quick that I'm going to be doing these much more frequently, at least on a minimum of a monthly basis. So if these are something that you enjoy watching, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So to get this meal prep started, I'm going to make some hard boiled eggs in my Instant Pot. This was so easy, I'm never making them on my stove again. To do this, all you need to do is add a cup of water to the pot and then place the eggs on top of the trivet that the Instant Pot comes with. I love having hard boiled eggs in the morning. It makes for such an easy breakfast. I slice them up and serve them on avocado toast. So once your eggs are in, you just wanna make sure that your valve is sealed and then you set it on high pressure. Three minutes will give you a soft boiled eggs, four to five minutes will give you medium, and six to seven minutes will give you a full hard boiled egg. So you can totally customize it depending on how you prefer your yolk. When the, it is done cooking, you wanna quick release, get rid of all the pressure, open the pot, and then place the eggs in an ice bath so that they stop cooking. When they're done, you can either peel them or just store them in the fridge until you're ready to eat. Next, I'm gonna get started on meal prepping my lunches. And if you're wondering why I meal prep my lunches but nothing for dinner, that is because I don't mind eating the same thing for lunch several days in a row, but I do enjoy cooking dinner and making different meals for me and my husband. So that's why I'm only gonna be preparing breakfast, lunch, and snacks in this meal prep. So for lunch, I thought it would be delicious to make a burrito bowl. I absolutely love doing things like this because you can totally customize it, use whatever you want. Any combination of rice with meat and vegetable is gonna be delicious. So today I thought I would cut up some peppers and onions, saute those along with some taco meat and some brown rice. So I'll show you how I put it all together. So since the brown rice takes the longest, I'm gonna get that going right away. I just use a two to one ratio. So I'm doing one cup of brown rice, two cups of water and adding in a little salt for flavor. I bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, cover it and let it simmer until all the water is absorbed. Now for those peppers and onions, all I'm doing is heating a saute pan over medium heat adding a little bit of olive oil, and then adding in the vegetables. I just cook those and toss them occasionally until they're softened to my liking. Now, when the peppers and onions are done cooking, I'm just gonna put those in a bowl so that they can cool down, and I'm gonna use the exact same pan to cook my meat in. So I am gonna do four of these burrito bowls, so I'm gonna use a pound of ground turkey. You could totally use ground beef or ground chicken, whatever you prefer. So after I just spray a little nonstick spray, I'm gonna add my turkey to the pan and break it up until it is completely browned. Now that my meat is completely brown, I'm gonna make it super easy and just add a packet of taco seasoning along with two thirds cup of water. I'm gonna let this cook on low until the water is completely absorbed before I let this cool. Okay, now that everything has cooled off, I'm gonna put it into my containers and it is really important to let everything cool before you put it into the fridge. So I'm just layering the brown rice on the bottom to create a base before I top it with the taco meat and the sauteed vegetables. I love creating balanced meals like this with healthy carbohydrates, protein, and vegetables. It's really gonna fill me up and give me energy. Now that all my ingredients are layered, I'm gonna add on some cheese and green onions to top it off. After I reheat these for lunch, I'll probably add in some salsa, maybe some Greek yogurt or sour cream, and definitely some avocado. All 
All right, you guys, we got to talk about vegetables. I know that many of us struggle to eat these and incorporate them into our diet, and it's probably a lot of people's resolution to eat more vegetables. Now, I know I'm not the only one when it comes to dinner time, and I realize I haven't eaten a single vegetable all day, and that is because they take a lot of work. You gotta wash them, you gotta peel them, you gotta prep them, and when you are looking for something fast and quick to eat, it is so much easier to reach for a chip or a cracker or a pretzel than grabbing a vegetable. But that is why I think it is so important to just take a little bit of time and just get them all prepped for the week so that when you are hungry and you do need something, you can just reach for some vegetables that you have already prepared in your fridge. So that's exactly what I am doing here. I am washing and prepping all of these big bowl of vegetables so that I have them on hand. If you know me, you know I love to dip. So I have this big Tupperware of raw vegetables that I can dip in all my various dips. And I'm also going to be able to use this for so many other things. Like I could grab these carrots and peppers, roast those in the oven and serve it along with dinner. Or I can use it if I need to make a salad, something like that. But speaking of salad, you can see I am also creating mason jar salads while I am cutting up my vegetables. I absolutely love creating mason jar salads because you can make a bunch of them at once and they are not going to be soggy because of how I layer them. So when you're making a mason jar salad, you're going to put all your crunchy vegetables at the bottom. That's things like carrots and celeries and peppers. And then you put the more delicate items on top. So I'm also adding in some goat cheese and then the lettuce goes all the way at the top so that it's not going to get soggy. These stay fresh for like up to five days in the fridge, so make as many as you want, and it's great to have on hand. All right, so you might think it's a little bit strange that right now in this healthy meal prep video, I am actually going to go ahead and make a dessert. But if you have ever heard the saying, failure to plan is planning to fail, that totally applies to me and my sweet tooth. I definitely wanted to make some sort of lightened up dessert so that that would satisfy my sweet tooth so that I am not digging in and eating all of my kids Christmas candy because they have a lot. So I'm going to be making the Skinny Taste Cranberry Bliss Bars. These are a lightened up version of the kind that you get at Starbucks. They are half the calories and definitely half the price. Now here I'm adding in about a third of a cup of chopped dried cranberries along with two thirds cup of either white chocolate chips or chopped white chocolate. I'm going to mix this up really well before I spread it onto a 9 by 13 baking sheet. These are going to bake in a 350 degree oven for anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes. You'll know they're done when the edges are light brown and a toothpick comes out clean. You want to be careful not to overbake them so they don't get dry. And when they are done, you can let them cool on a wire rack. While the bars are cooling, you can go ahead and mix up the frosting that is going to go on them. This is a delicious cream cheese frosting that comes together so quickly if you have a mixer or a hand mixer. So once this is all nicely blended together, you can go ahead and frost your bars and then you can sprinkle on a little bit more of the chopped dried cranberries before you melt some white chocolate and drizzle that on top. Once these are set, you can go ahead and cut them up into tiny triangles.
Okay, so I'm all done. Sorry about the background noise. My kids are watching the movie, but I just wanted to explain everything now that it's all done. So as you remember, over here I have my hard-boiled eggs. Again, what I do with these is I make some avocado toast. So I love buying these mini avocados from Aldi. These are a perfect single serving size, so I'll make my avocado toast and top that with some sliced hard boiled eggs and those are such a filling nutritious breakfast. Over here are all my chopped raw veggies. I love dipping these in all my favorite dips. If you saw my Trader Joe's haul, you know I'm a dip addict. Guacamole, hummus, that spinach and kale dip. Like seriously, I love them all. So those are gonna be a perfect snack for me anytime that I'm feeling like I need something to eat and it's not meal time. And then of course I have my mason jar salads. These are gonna stay nice and crisp and never get soggy because of the way that I layered them with the crunchy stuff on the bottom and the delicate lettuce on top. Over here I'm a perfectly portioned lunch. I can't wait to eat these all week long. Again, there's brown rice on the bottom, turkey taco meat, tons of sauteed veggies, and then cheese and scallions on top. These are gonna reheat perfectly. And then last but certainly not least, are my cranberry bliss bars. Again, I do have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I wanted to be prepared with some sort of lightened up dessert that I can enjoy so I'm not snacking on things that are gonna be worse for me, like a giant bowl of ice cream or my kid's Christmas candy. So these are not too bad for you, and they're definitely a much lighter version than the kind that they have at Starbucks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this meal prep video and you got some great ideas on how to meal prep for the week so that we can all start out 2020 our healthiest. I will see you guys on Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye.